Hi again, and welcome back to PixArt 101, your crash course for PixArt Web. Today is all things removal, removing backgrounds, objects, and even lame tutorial jokes that I make. So let's get started. All right, so today we are going to show you a, different, a couple different ways to remove the background or just use the removal tool. I think there's a couple different ways that we can do this. So to start, let's go to new project again. In this instance, first we're gonna go and show you how to do the remove background tool. So we'll just start with a square here. And let's upload a photo. Again, say this is a small business focus. Maybe you've got some sweet kicks that you wanna get out and you wanna get a post out and spread the word about these new shoes. You'll just upload this file. Go here, once that's in, we will click it, put it into our canvas. Great, so we've got this pair of shoes, or just this shoe rather. Now to remove the background here, you wanna go up to the toolbar and you'll actually wanna to go to erase. And as we've talked about before, there's the person option that doesn't apply to us. We will go to the object. This shoe is an object, click the object button. And that now erases the background, perfect. So we press apply but we don't wanna just put a white shoe on a white background. We wanna make it look cool, make this post look good. So if you click the background layer, there's the color option and then you can actually go to this texture button here on the right. If you click that, you actually have an option for a bunch of different backgrounds to choose from. Say you wanna make this shoe the center of attention. So why don't we search and we wanna put it on a pedestal, right? Let's do pedestal. Cool, so we've got a couple options here. Kind of like in this one. So let's select that. Boom. So now we have our background, but we have the shoe with the removed background on its own layer. So let's size that down right here. Move it up and boom. You've got your very own shoe post that you can go ahead and export right here. Very easy, very quick tool in removing backgrounds. Again, we can just name this post JPEG is fine download and that's it that's easy but there is actually a different tool that you can also use so I will show you that now let's go to create new and this is actually removing objects from an existing photo which is just a great tool and super easy as well so we'll click for a 3-4 portrait format maybe this is an Instagram post um, and we will go ahead and upload a photo here, let's grab this. Wait until it uploads. And we can put it on our canvas here. Beautiful shot, obviously in a great location. Oops. Let's size that up in the frame. But in keeping with that, making it about you and you're the main character in this story, there are just a lot of people in this photo. And I think the photo would benefit if it was just you in this beautiful landscape. So to go ahead and do that, actually, we're gonna go up to this tool here that is actually the remove tool. Click that open here. You'll see our photo and then you'll see this size slider here. If you see this circle where, where my mouse used to be, if you can slide it up or down, depending on how big the object is you wanna remove. In this case, we're just gonna be removing these people in the back. So you can actually do a pretty small, we'll go like 15, small, small removal. And what you wanna do here is you wanna click and hold and drag to highlight these objects that you actually want to remove from the frame. And it's okay if the red goes over more than just the object a little bit, it will actually blend and remove so you won't even notice it. So you just wanna click and drag, and mark out all these people here so that we've highlighted all of the people or objects that we want to remove from the frame. We'll actually go up to the remove button here and they're gone. Now, once we're ready for that, we'll click apply. We have removed people from the background. And you will see magic happen immediately. Boom, they're gone. And look at this photo. Now it's you in this beautiful place. Very easy tool as well. So when you're done and ready to post here, let's just go up to the export button and we'll just call this 
I don't know, beautiful, beautiful landscape. Doesn't really matter what you call it. But you've got the JPEG here, small file size, that's good to go. Press download and you are good to go. All righty, that's it for today's episode. Keep playing around with the removal tools on PixArt Web and I will see you later. Mm -hmm.